Hey friends, it's Kara, um, and I'm back with another book review vlog. I recently read The Astronaut Wives Club by Lily Copel, and here is the cover of it. Um, a true story, The Astronaut Wives Club. Um, I um, saw the book. I believe it was on the New York Times bestseller list is where I saw it. I look at a couple different um, places online for reviews and popular books um, and I read the ones that look interesting to me and this looks super interesting as um, I am slightly obsessed with space travel um, well I mean not academically just the idea of it um, and being able to see the earth and you know all the prep that it takes and the dedication that one has to have for it um, it started when I watched space camp as a child totally own space camp on dvd um if anybody wants to come watch it with me um have you seen space camp it is so good um it's got john travolta's wife oh i should know her name well she is his wife so whatevs um and then arizona from gray's anatomy uh her mom is on it she's andy oh uh, i don't actually know anybody's name that's in the movie but it's a really good movie you should watch it Anyway, so ever since I first saw Space Camp, I've been in love with the idea of space travel. Um, so this book was totally right up my alley. It is a true story, and it documents the lives of um, the wives of the astronauts in the United States from the 1950s through the 1970s. It um, started with, I believe, uh, Mercury, the Mercury missions, Mercury 7. Um, and then continued through Gemini and Apollo, if I remember correctly. Um, but it's just a really interesting book. Um, and it was kind of crazy the way that um, America changed from the late 50s through the early 70s. Um, the astronaut wives from the late 50s, um, you know, or the stereotypical 50s wives vacuuming the house in pearls and heels. And, you know, waking up very early to cook their husband's steak and eggs for breakfast. Um, and then by the 70s, you know, they um, they weren't making steak and eggs necessarily. Um, and there were quite a few divorces um, within the astronaut families by then. Um, so it's really fascinating to see the change in um, American society. Um you know, at that time, well, white American society, all of the astronauts were white. Um, and I think it's very important to distinguish that, you know, this was how America was for white upper middle class people, um, not the rest of the country necessarily. Um, so it really shows that the, um, you know, progression of women's liberation within those decades. Um, and, you know, what I really loved was the astronaut wives were kind of this little sorority um, and they helped each other out and you know at times they may not have always liked each other um, especially when new groups came in you know Apollo wives came in and um, they their husbands were getting assignments and the older astronauts weren't you know there was some bitterness but in the end um, the wives were there for each other they cared for each other they had um, such tragedies that nobody else could understand except for each other. Um, you know, they shared um, experiences of infidelity um, within their families and deaths of children. Um, one astronaut wife in particular, um, after her husband Ed White was killed in the, um, the first Apollo mission, um, she, she committed suicide several decades later. Um, because she just couldn't get over her husband dying. Um, so these women were so strong. They went through so much together. And sometimes, you know, they broke a little, but who doesn't? Um, so I just found it a great read. Um, if you are interested in space, like I am, <laughs> read The Astronaut Wives Club. Um, but really, if you're just interested in reading about a part of American history and how it affected... Um, those behind the scenes it's a great read so highly suggest the astronaut wives club by lily copel two thumbs up jack liked it too bye
Oh crap, I've done it again.